1999, David Duval toppled Tiger to become world number one. Two years later, he won his first major. But the years that followed have, by his own admission, been a struggle. Open and honest, positive but reflective, Duval spoke to me ahead of this week's event. So first of all, tell us about the story of getting here, because it's been an adventurous trip, hasn't it? It's been a very adventurous trip to, to get here to Scotland. Um, I have actually flown from the Italian Open, from Turin through Frankfurt to Denver, Denver to Newark, Newark to Edinburgh, and then drove for an hour. So uh, it's been chaos, but I am very keen to just play some. I've been working hard for seven months trying to put my golf swing kind of back to what it was, late 90s, early 2000s. It's been very hard to put it back together, but the best part about it is I've learned exactly why and how I swing a golf club. Because in the past, I just teed it up and I knew I was good. I knew I swung it well. I knew I hit it, the golf ball as good as, as good as anybody, but I didn't necessarily know why. And now I know why and, and, and the motion I do and the the method I use, I know why it produces the consistent golf shots and how to do that. David, tee shot has found the middle of the fairway here. Tell me what you, you've got in here to the green and the kind of shot you need to play. Probably, well, 80 front on 12, so 92 yards, which to me is just basically kind of a fairly full uh, 58 degree wedge. I don't carry a 60, I carry it at 58 degrees. And with this downhill life, anything that should strengthen the shot, the, the club head a little bit. So I figure from here, you know, you can hit it up 10 to 15 feet, you've, you know, you've succeeded, you've done well. Yeah, it's just front of the green. A little bit short, but yeah, you know, pretty good, but just, I just tried to, you know, try to remember how to hit this off this turf. I know it sounds silly, but you actually have to hit the golf ball a little differently than you would in America. David, tell me about the challenges you've, you've faced since 2001, two, I suppose, because 99 was a fantastic year. Took Ryder Cups, so you're short of 59. Right. You, you reached the top of the world, world number one. But just tell me about the years that followed. Well, you know, I got to, I got real injured in 2000 with my back. Was out for a lot of weeks. Uh, came back and won a golf tournament my first week back. And then just really started fighting my back ever since then. And Managed to feel okay at the Open in, in 01, where I won at Lytham, but um, that's kind of when my body started to deteriorate and my golf swing started to, I started to compensate and it started to de deteriorate. Just a lot of injury problems, little things like that, that, that add up. And, you know, through that, you start playing not as well. There you are, you're, you've, you've kind of really fallen away. and. You know, beginning of this year, I, I had that goal of uh, being healthy at the end of the year for a change and getting my status back. But after I started playing, I played a couple events early in the season. I was like, you know what? I'm not happy with this kind of golf. I, 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 could, I could play good rounds and I could play good tournaments, but I expect to play consistently well week in, week out. And so I decided early March, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to use this year to fix it. I don't know how you'd put a percentage on it, but if I was, I'd say I'm somewhere from, you know, 85 to 90 something percent there. I feel great about what I'm doing. And, you know, probably even more than that. And uh, in the Italian Open, I hit, I believe it was 28 greens uh, and a fringe. So I basically hit 29 greens, but I had 64 putts. I didn't make a putt, you know, and instead of being in, running 12th place, I, I miss a cut, which, you know, the little things that I have to get uh, better at. No. Oh, you know what? I didn't hit a great shot. It came up, what, 22 feet, 23 feet short. And, you know, the big thing I'm trying to adjust to is the speed of the greens still, you know. Um, so that's what I've been paying attention mostly to today. And, you know, this is just a little bit uphill. I don't think there's much into it. It'd be nice to make the putt, but 
I want to make sure I can roll it up there and feel the right, proper speed. Yeah, it's a good roll, just, just coming up short. Say a little short, yeah, I'm still, you know, it's gonna take me, I'm hoping I can get adjusted by tomorrow to the speed. Um, and these greens here have been a little fast, a little slow. They've been, there's actually been a little, little bit of variation in them uh, today, it seems like. But, you know, it's a par. Solid par there, team. David, yeah. it's been an absolute pleasure to, Absolutely. to see you here in the European Tour. Fantastic to talk to you. We wish you all the best with this week and wherever we see you next time. I appreciate that, thank you.